most people are buying flowers and taking their kids to school on 1st of September, but not we. I'm opening the salmon season and I'm glad I have it. two nut jobs with me, not feel so alone here. Not expecting much today, but you never know. Water is a little bit too warm, it still gets around 20, 25 degrees in midday outside. So technically it's a season start, but really the season will start in two weeks, maybe three. <laughs> much hope for today and I think none of us does because it's still very very early but it's kind of our tradition to go out on the first day of the season to find that salmon at least to see it move in the river that's already amazing I get to test the 2022 exist size 3000 on a Waxa Stinger Boron for salmon fishing. My thoughts so far, just one major thing, smoothness. That's all I can tell you. Does it feel anything different than my 2018 Exist? Not really. It is as smooth as that one was, and that is the main idea of this reel. You barely feel anything while turning it. I also tested the size 2500S when I was trout fishing. That one gave me the same satisfaction. But that one and this one isn't mine, so I'm just having it for a day or two and then I'll have to pass it. I'll make the most of it in two days, hopefully.
so I'm ending my two-day stretch of season opening. It went pretty much the way I expected. Zero fish, zero bites. But we saw a few fish, we worked on those, but they never bit. Looking forward to the next weekend, but pretty much the thought is that nothing will start happening until the water is so warm. Right now my advice would be to look for fish in faster stream, shallows, where the water is mixing up, there is more movement in the water, there is more oxygen and the fish are staying in those spots. That's where we found them. How to make them bite? I don't know because I never did, but you might get lucky. And that's really the thought right now. You might find the fish, it's not that hard, we saw a few but it's hard to make them bite and if you get lucky you get lucky if not well thoughts on new diver exist from 2022 and that's kind of paradox because it is one of two best spinning reels money can buy and i cannot tell you anything interesting about it it's just great everything works fine it's smooth as hell it's really really nice to fish with it the question is do you need it do i need it probably no and probably you don't need it too would i buy it if i had jay-z money then maybe yeah but for normal fishing you would do as fine with divers certate or luvias and this won't catch you more fish but it definitely is the smoothest reel i ever tried design wise i'm not a fan of this design because i think that 2000 15 Diva Exist had the best design ever. This one is kind of modern, minimalistic, but it's not my style. One thing that's really improved, that's the sound of the drag and drag adjustment. Adjustment is smoother and more precise and sound is amazing. Thoughts about new Jackson Rogos? Works great. Holds the stream, you can fish it in really fast stream, it works fantastic. It's a little bit different from the old ones. The originals had more wide and slow movement these are more aggressive and the movement is a little bit narrow is it good or bad i don't know we'll see after the season i guess so that's my thoughts from these two days hopefully next weekend will be a little bit better and i can hook at least one fish so see you next time peace